Just begin by making yourself comfortable because you're about to go into a deep state of relaxation very, very quickly. Rest your hands on your lap or by your side and close your eyes. Just let yourself relax. Now inhale deeply, filling your lungs all the way up and hold it. Exhale slowly and imagine a huge wave of relaxation flowing slowly down from the top of your head, down your shoulders and arms, through your torso, down your legs, to the tips of your toes, like a wave of relaxing energy. Let all your muscles turn loose and limp and wonderfully relaxed, just like a rag doll. Now I want you to move your awareness to your eyelids. And even though your eyelids are already completely relaxed, they're becoming even more relaxed, heavier, droopier, drowsier. With your eyes remaining closed, I'd like you to look up towards your forehead as if you're looking into your own eyebrows. Take a deep breath in and hold it and release your breath, letting your eyes float down as if you're now looking at the floor or down a flight of stairs. Just relax your eyelids down to the point where they just won't open. And when you're certain that they're so completely relaxed that they just won't open, give them a little test to be sure that they just won't work. Very good. Now stop trying and send another wave of relaxing energy right down from the top of your head, down your shoulders and arms, through your torso and your hips, down your legs to the tips of your toes. Your eyelids aren't really glued shut, sealed shut, locked tight. They just feel as if they are. And that's a good sign because you're relaxing very, very deeply, very, very quickly. And now that your body's relaxed, I'd like you to relax your mind. In a moment, I'm going to help you relax your mind even more deeply. And this is how I'm going to do it. In a moment, on my cue, I want you to begin counting backwards out loud from 100. And with each number, double your vocal relaxation. So by the time you hit the number 97, or even before, you'll find that all the numbers have turned from a whisper into silence. It's going to sound something like this. 100. 99, 98, 97. You'll find those numbers fading as your voice relaxes until you can't even find them anymore. So on my cue, start counting and lose the numbers to relaxation. Countdown beginning now with number 100. Very good, good job. Now take in a deep breath in and hold it. And exhale, and as you do, you'll discover you've already forgotten all the numbers. They faded completely out of your mind. Next, I wanna take you to a beautiful garden. Imagine that you're at the top of a flight of wooden stairs at the park, leading down a lush hillside flourishing with wildflowers and patches and patches of green trees, grass, and bushes. The sky's the perfect hue of blue with puffy white clouds gracefully floating across the sky. It's a perfect day. Now I'm going to take you down the flight of stairs to the garden area. Let's go deeper relaxed from step number 10 to step number nine more droopy, more drowsy, more deeply relaxed. Step number eight, just let your mind and body go 
any outside noise is just sending you deeper and deeper into relaxation. Step number seven, following only the sound of my voice, as you go deeper still to step six, notice how relaxed your breathing's become. Feel the creaky wooden stairs below your feet as you go deeper still to number five. Halfway there, more droopy, more drowsy, more relaxed. Step number four, closer to the garden's edge, more relaxed to step number three. As you go deeper still, number two. Now you reach step number one at the edge of the garden. Take a deep breath in and hold it. And release. Notice the aroma of the blooming flowers everywhere. Nature's perfume. It's so heavenly. Stop. Really take in the wonder, the delightful smells that waft through the air, the sound of birds chirping in delight, and the tinkling of wooden what wind chimes as you begin to understand that god's garden the universe the higher power whatever you believe is truly a delightful mix of fragrance that's brought alive by the sounds of nature and enhanced with the colors that only mother nature herself can create as you walk closer you notice there's two distinctly different little gardens one is lush and shadowy with blooming flowers blowing in the breeze, spontaneously leafy greens interspersed between its wonderful and extensive brush. The array of flowers, bright color, subtle color, pinks, reds, yellows, oranges, purples, and greens, a vivid rainbow of delight. This garden was planted by you with little effort. In fact, you weren't even aware that it happened. You were just enjoying life. Imagine this garden is your body, naturally, miraculously, flawlessly, effortlessly flowing with the rhythm of the universe. Take a moment and really soak in your body. Left to its own natural rhythm and flow, so capable of doing so many things. Take a pause and be enamored. Sink into the feeling. Your body is flawless. It's capable of miraculous things. All parts flow in unison. Not one part telling the other what to do. The lungs don't tell the air that it's not enough. Your heart doesn't tell your brain when to pump more blood through your body. Your eyes don't tell the lids. They can blink only a certain amount of times a day. Similarly, it just flows in absolute perfection. Really sink into the feeling of your body flowing in perfect rhythm. Now let's look at the second garden. It's a literal patch of weeds, dead brown plants and dried up dirt. In this garden, you'll find weed killer, tools for digging, fresh earth fertilizer, new seeds, and a full watering can. Dig up and kill the weeds. Prepare and till the soil for new seeds. Take your time here. Imagine you're preparing this garden for your new baby. Now get to work. Pulling the weeds. Tilling the soil. fresh soil. Now you can plant your new seeds. 
and water them. You see, your body doesn't know the difference between what is real and what is imagined in your mind. Take a few moments. Really imagine you're planting your fertile garden in your mind. You're doing so well. Now that you're done, I'd like you to find somewhere to rest and relax in the garden. You can relax deeply knowing that you've done all the work you need to do, and those seeds are now being planted in your fertility garden. All you need to do is continue to nurture those seeds, and in time, they will sprout. As you rest in your garden, you can start to imagine all the ways in which you can nurture yourself. Take a moment, love into yourself. Each time you nurture yourself, each time you take care of yourself, each time you allow your body to do what it knows to do, each time you surrender to the process, you're watering the seeds and encouraging new life to grow and prosper. Take time here to rest and relax in the garden. Feel the warmth of the glowing sun on your cheek. Breathe in the aromas as you daydream about the ways in which you will nourish yourself and these seeds. You're doing great. As we prepare to leave the garden today, I want you to really soak in this feeling of warmth, of relaxation, of positive reinforcement of surrender that nature, the universe, and your body are ready for your new baby to arrive. Be open, allow. Your body knows what to do. And in the days and weeks to come, if you find yourself out of balance, in stress mode, and in doubt about your fertility, or out of alignment, I want you to come back to this place this miracle garden, this place of relaxation and allowing. Take your left hand and bring your index finger and thumb together. Rub them together. Feel this peace. This is your anchor to take you back here to the fertile garden, anytime, any place. Each time you do this, it immerses you back into the garden of possibility. Take another moment to soak in the potential you just planted today. Be proud of yourself. Relish in the delight of things to come. Know that you are open and allow the universe to do the work. It's already done. No more trying to control the waves of the ocean. No more trying to stop the rain. No more constraining or restricting your body. It's already done. The powerful universe has the wheel. Now, as you head back up the stairs, slowly walking each step up, you're cementing this positive experience into your subconscious mind, cementing your new identity as a mom. As we count the stairs up one, feeling a pep in your step, two and three, a positive energy flowing through, four and five, the possibilities are endless, five and six, your body is a wonderland, seven and eight, the garden is ready, nine and ten, open your eyes, feeling refreshed, knowing that your baby is coming and the universe has your back.